Hey everybody, Billy from Mutation Creation. On today's video, we're gonna do our coconut husk, how we prepare it. We have two sizes. We use go for cocoa. Um, you know, we used to use Raptor Chip. Then we went to Cocoa Blocks. And now we are here with the go for cocoa. Uh, comes in two sizes, small and large. I love it. Uh, to me, personally, it's the best I've ever used. And uh, we've, we've made some modifications of how we even add the water from before. We'll show you how to do that, how we do that. First, I'm going to take this. This was already pre-made. We just use the big garbage cans for a table. And then we use these. We got smaller ones, if you notice. We have three of these, black for the large. And we use a, they're not here, it's in the other room. We use a gray tub. Uh, we have three small gray tubs that we use for the small cocoa. So that way, once it's made, Austin and Lion that do the adults know that we use the black and the other ones for the smaller adults so, or sub-adults or hatchlings, we use the small and we use the gray. Just something simple. Um, and we love how they're on wheels. So this was made, we just had an expo on the weekend. This was made probably Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday. And as you see, it's, it's, we just air dry it. It's dry at the top. Now watch, once you do this, now you see how it's nice and moist underneath. And what's great about this is when you grab a chunk, I don't know if you can see it, but if you squeeze it, you can still, look at it. It really holds the moisture, man. This stuff is, I've seen some stuff and it looks good. You put, it, you put water in it and it doesn't hold. You can't even squeeze. This is spongy, like nice and spongy, look. Nice and spongy. Like you can still see this, I, even though I dripped the water out, there's still, still moisture in here if I squeeze hard. And it bounces back, real fresh. I love the stuff. If you haven't already known, if I haven't talked about it enough, we use one of these things. I don't even know where we found it. It's a little mini. It was here when we moved in. It, it was here when we moved in. So it's our cocoa scooper. So what we end up doing. Oh, and before I do that, let me just show you. So one thing we used to use with all the other products at the table now, the uh, um, Freedom Breeder uh, cocoa sifter. We don't use it hardly any. Watch. So ready? These are brand new. If I go nice in here, nice and deep, and I pull up, there's hardly any, and this is like fiber, it's not even sand. It's, it's amazing, and it's so minimal. So what we do, we just use this, and we just basically just dump it in, and we'll show you how we prepare our water, or not how we prepare our water, how we prepare the bags, and, and what we do. And of course, Jeffrey's been around, our bird, I don't know why, but he likes to play and, and eat coconut husk. So we'll just get this made. And we do this. And if you look, but even still, look how fresh it is. It's still moist underneath. But what I love is the sponginess. It's spongy. It's not dry, hard. Um, and, and here's a good example. People will say, oh, there's so much crap in it. You will get the odd piece like this, very minor. You just pull it out. We put it on the floor because we sweep daily. It's very, very minor. Um, you know, there's a lot of different stuff. And even if you look, going down, look how much we've already gone. We've already taken half up. It's still, no you know. Mold. Yeah, no mold. This stuff doesn't mold. We've been using this for over two years. But what I like about the go for cocoa, um, I, I really liked the cocoa blocks, except the chunks were too big. Here, we got big chunks, okay? We've got small chunks, smaller chunks. It's a good variety. If you look, it's not just big chunk. It goes from, uh, I believe, 14 millimeter all the way up to 24, and then the smaller goes from 8 millimeter to 16. So um, let me just do one more scoop, and then we'll get to the bags. And this stuff still, and it even smells fresh. Like, I mean, it's, it's just awesome. Like, I, I really love the product. And when you get down to it, here's where the bags are. And we're going to show you how we prep. So now what we do is we just take a bag like this and flip it upside down. And look how easy it breaks apart. Even if it's dry, I mean, the stuff is just, like, 
Look at no sand. Notice when you break this apart, usually there's sand. No sand, man. No dust. It's it's amazing. This stuff is hardly any dust. It's credit. It's amazing. Like we don't even sift. And that was a big thing. Remember how we used to take 10, 15 minutes, do that, sift it, and then put it in, and you know, then we have to after it filled up, we have to take it out and bag it or put it in some other stuff. Um, here's another bag. Just flip it over like this. And I'll show you how we get to the bag part. But look, ready? I'm not even really touching, look. Falls apart, guys. No dust, look. No sand. I mean, it's amazing. And what's really good about this stuff is we are getting it into the United States within the next month. And we will be looking for maybe some distributors. I do have some already. And we're gonna be working with, you know, first come, first serve, obviously. But like, look at this stuff. I mean, this stuff, this stuff was sitting at the bottom. Look how nice, I'm throwing it all over the floor, but, like, but look how nice it is. Like, look. You know, and then we have this stuff here. We put that on top. But two blocks do a hole. It does a hole. And there you get a little bit of the dust at the bottom, like minimal, minimal. Look at that, fresh. I think I got more on the floor than I normally do. It's not bad. <laughs> That's what mops and, and brushes are for. So, now what we do, I got these here. So, if you remember back in the day, we used to go like this, we cut the tops off. Sometimes we forget this thing, the paper, because you don't see it. Now what we do, just put your hand here, just in case the weight, now what we do, it is a lot easier for water to distribute down six inches all the way across. Instead of like this, what we did for over a year, we found that it would get down to about you know, six to seven, eight inches, and then the bottom was always dry. We'd have to break apart, which is still fine. But it's a lot easier just to take the top 12 by 12 off. That way you can't forget the paper. We just plop it right in one. Do it again. Da, 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 da. Both, throw it out. And then drop this down. And then I'll let you take over. So what we've done is we've already, so we put one and a half of these on with nice warm hot water. And all we do, nice and slow. It's really evenly spread it out. I like to start at the edges first. Make sure I get a nice even coat. A couple of zigzags. And you'll start to see it plump up a little bit. And you notice it's absorbing a lot better now. It's going right through. Really quickly, yes. And if you don't prime it like I did at the beginning, it doesn't do that. It runs off all the way to the sides. And a lot of times, too, in here, if it does run over, it's going to catch into the bottom here. Mm -hmm. And, you know, start getting right to the, the, the bottom and start getting the bottom wet. But if you do it nice and slow like Austin, I'm, I'm usually faster. That's why I, I got him to demonstrate it. Because, But if you notice, look at how it's already rising up quite some. A steady movement back and forth. Really try to evenly spread it out. And then towards the ends, I go once again to do a box because the outer edges always seem to be the most dry, especially the corners. The last little bit in the middle because I neglected it a bit. Look how much it's already lifted. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. See how much slower it's absorbing at the beginning versus after everything's already absorbed a little bit. And this one here is still growing. It's getting, you know, about, it looks like four or five inches already above.
It's a little hard with the other one. There we go. It's absorbing it really nicely now. You can start seeing it starting to lift. It's rising like a cake. Yeah. Except I'd rather have a cake than <laughs> put icing on it and eat it. <laughs> I'm craving cake now. You also want to just make sure it's rising evenly, that you're not putting too much water on one side. As you can see, I'm giving this side a little bit more. Really yeah, you can really support. see it rising. And so, so far this was about three and a half liters, almost four liters in each. Then we're going to add another one to two in each, just to go ensure that we got everything soaked. So about five or six liters in each. And for the last one, I just do a quick run through to make sure that everything got wet. And then I just focus a little bit more on the edges one more time. And that one should be about good. We're about halfway left. Same thing on this one. Get everything once again. And then just focus on the corners. That should be good. Yeah, and then we just leave it. I'll pass this back over to Austin. But you see how they're rising now? It's almost catching up. And what we do is we just leave it for the night. So, of course, now it's super heavy. Yeah. And now we just put it down here. We put it in our shelves. And this is another one that was already made last week. And if you notice, it's nice and dry on the top. Start going around. And what's good is if you keep digging down, hardly any sand. It's it's little fiber, it's actually fibery. I mean, it's really, the stuff is amazing. I, uh, I love it, I'm glad uh, I was introduced to it from uh, my friend Jean-Francois, sent me a sample, love it. And uh, here's the small, the smaller chunk. We won't bother doing that. But now the smaller chunk too, people are like, oh, it always has a little, I mean, it does have a lot of fibers, but not that much. Like if you look, here we go. Here's just a comparison. So here's the comparison in sizes. Right next to each other. Small, see how it has some big chunk and then smaller chunk and then big to small? Yeah. So that's the difference. We use this for the hatchlings. But like what I like about this is watch. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna dig down, ready? I'm gonna dig down, like my hands are buried, so they're about, I don't know what, six, seven inches down. I'm gonna come up, look, hardly any sand. I mean, it's very minute, where I don't even have to bother going down and having to sift this because it's, it's, it's chunk, like, you know, small chunks, big chunks. And yeah, you do get some of this, uh, you know. Fibers. Fibers, but I mean, it, it's, it's part of the process. I mean, it's not as bad as, as some, um, and if you're really picky about it, you could actually just do this and, and pull some of it out, like, you know, if you really didn't want it. Yeah. But it doesn't really hurt. But, I mean, as far as the two go, I've used lots of product. I've used really cheap stuff. I've used the good, the higher end stuff, like uh, Repta Chip and, go and, and Cocoa Blocks. Um, to me personally, I like this so much better, um, especially not having to go and do that extra, um, because I, I don't want the dust. And I know a lot of other people that have switched and used this, that one thing they've noticed by far is it, uh, um, it, it's less dusty, which is great. Less dusty in the room, less dusty when you're mixing it, when you're, when you're adding stuff. You don't have to wipe your racks off as much. Um, and, and before, you saw the videos when we used to, you know, um, sift our, uh, our, all of our cocoa. There'd be so much stuff that we would rebag and use for the soil, for the tarantulas or for other lizards or something else. We still repurposed it, but it's already done. I don't need any more. And the last thing I want to do is spend, you know, big dollars on premium cocoa and, and have stuff that I can't use. So, uh, like I said, um, go for cocoa, two sizes. It will be entering the United States very shortly. 
Um, within the next month or two, we are looking for more people in different areas, and uh, hopefully you'll see it in a lot of the reptile expos, um, you know, in the United States. Hopefully, you know, April, May, you know, and, and throughout the year. And uh, worst case scenario, try it and, and figure it out for yourself. Don't listen to us or see what we're doing. Try it block, see how it is compared to the others. And some other people like the sand, you know, some of the dirt stuff. I know there's a few guys here that actually don't even use the cocoa. They like the core, yeah. you know. It's preference people, you know, and I prefer this over everything I've used and I just basically put it out and how we do things. And, you know, even before when we used to put the block up, you know, we'd always sit there in the last four or five inches, we'd have to break apart. And I don't know who was it you or somebody else said, why don't we just lay it on its side? Yeah. Oh yeah, so, so much easier. Only took us a year. But uh, anything else we should say about it or? Well, I think it's a really good product, so. Yeah, and I mean like, um, you know, even, even here's, some, here's some animals that, uh, let's show off this one. So we'll show this one off. This here is a, a enhancer pied, 50% G-stripe. And I mean, I'll take her up. I mean, here's the bedding, like look, there you go. Like there, there's some, but what that is, is this is old. This has been, you know, we don't change our cocoa all the time. Spot clean. We spot clean. So, you know, they're moving around, they're kind of, but I, I mean, I love the chunk. You know, I mean, it's, look at this, it's awesome. Get it out of the water dish. Um, and, and yeah, and then even in the smaller tubs. Um, let's do uh, the pastel enhancer G-stripe. Okay, same thing, look. Not so much dust, I mean, you know, I mean, it's great. And we like this for, for the hatchlings, you know, and, uh, and uh, the, some of the whole backs and anything subadult and bigger, we use the, uh, the large so I know some people that like the small for everything I know some people that like to mix the two it's preference right you got small you got large you can mix them together use all small um, personally I wouldn't use the large for my hatchlings it's too big um, but uh, that's just what we do here so hope you like the video don't forget to like share subscribe like always hit that notification notification bell it's been a while guys um, and uh, don't forget put your comments below